Welcome to my first sewing vlog! Hello! I'm broadcasting live from my sewing studio slash dining room and I'm here with my pal Irma. We'll see if that name sticks. I'm just trying out names and you know. I've had this secret fantasy or dream for a long time of designing and making my whole wardrobe but I've barely really even admitted to myself that I wanted to do this thing because I just thought, I'll never do that. I have started and stopped the process of learning to sew over and over again because I got really frustrated and there were parts of the process that I didn't understand that needed to happen. I have made lots of things and most of them never fit me. So that was a big frustration because I didn't understand that you're supposed to make a mock-up of a pattern and then adjust it and that's how you make something fit you. I had no idea that that was just part of the process. So I've been recently inspired to start this up again. I'm starting it up with this knowledge that I need lots of practice and that there are these other skills that I also need to learn to be successful at making garments. I decided that I would follow along the projects in a book because sometimes it's helpful to have some sort of focus as to what projects to work on next. And I feel like that might give me a more well-rounded skill base as well because there might be things that I wouldn't just do unless it was suggested to do it. <laughs> So the book that I am following is called Love at First Stitch, Demystifying Dressmaking by Tilly Wands. And the first project that I'm going to do is the Margot Pajama Pants. So far I have pre-washed my fabric, I traced the pattern onto some tracing paper, um, and then I ironed the fabric and folded it lengthwise, and I'm getting ready to um, pin it and cut it out. I need to line up the pattern to the grain line. Tilly suggests measuring from the salvage to line up the pattern on the grain line. I've never been this picky about my pattern on the grain line, so... And I've heard that it changes the way um, the fabric will drape. Yep. Transferring the markings. I'm trying out this dressmaker's carbon to transfer markings. It took me a while to get it to work. It turns yes. out you have to press really hard to get it to make a mark. You follow the line. And then nothing happened. So... Yeah, okay, so it, it does work. You just have to rub, you just have to use it like really, you have to like roll really hard and it kind of like perforated my paper so i don't know if i i don't know if i'll use this method or not i cut this out using a rotary cutter and i'm new at using a rotary cutter so i'm just going really slowly i've always used scissors to cut things out um, before turns out that I missed a bunch of markings on the pattern, so I had to go back and mark them. The next part is sewing the side seams. This is really good practice. Um, I am much more rusty than I realized. There's like a bunch of little wavy spots in my seam, and that's why I'm practicing. Now we're going to finish the seams. I don't think I've ever finished seams on anything. I'm brown new at using the overlocker. I used a scrap of fabric to practice um, sewing with it a few times before I attacked my pants with it. Oh no! One. I was really tempted to just use my sewing machine with a zigzag stitch because I'm much more familiar with that, but I am supposed to be gathering skills, so I decided it was best to get on with getting used to it. After sewing the side seams and finishing them, I ironed the seams toward the back. Next, I need to join the legs together at the crotch. The markings I made with a dressmaker's carbon faded, and I had to remark the notches to match up the two legs. Now I'm thinking I should have just clipped the notches so that I would still be able to see where those points were. When I got to the part 
that I was finishing the crotch seam, I accidentally caught the other parts of the pants into the serger. It would have been much better if I had ironed the seam open before I went to finish it. I ended up having to rip out that portion of the seam and then I just used a zigzag stitch to finish that section of seam so that it wouldn't fray. Now on the part with folding down the waistband, the marks I made with a dressmaker's carbon were almost gone. So I don't know if it's this brand of dressmaker's carbon or if that's just the nature of this product, but it didn't really work very well. Putting in the cotton webbing, I don't think the drawstring would have been long enough if I had followed the directions. I accidentally got a way longer length of the cotton webbing than the instructions said. So I'm just going to put it through and then cut it to the length that I need. Onto the hemming part, um, I pretty much had no f extra fabric to work with. Luckily, they were pretty much the right length. I think in the future I'll have some space so that if they are too short, I have something to work with because these could have just ended up being short pants. The pocket instructions didn't make sense to me. I ended up redoing the pockets and I made them an inch larger on each side. I also sewed down the top edge of the pocket so that it would look more finished. So my final thoughts on this project. This has been a really good project. I thought that I would be bored because I'm super antsy to get into learning to fit garments and to be making dresses, but it turns out I really needed the sewing practice. In fact, it probably wouldn't be bad to make like five more of these, but I am going to move on. It's been so long since I've made anything. I've learned so much. I don't think that I've ever finished seams on anything. The overlocker is super new to me, so I will be spending some more time just practicing sewing on it. I will probably use this pattern again, although I think I would prefer the waist to be higher and the legs to be slightly narrower. Also, if you did two holes for the drawstring, one on each side of the crotch seam, you could finish the crotch seam together. Not sure how much a difference that would make, but maybe I'll try that next time. So that's it for now, and I'll see you on my next sewing adventure.